Here is an XY plane, and we've got two points drawn on this plane. One point with coordinates X1, Y1, and another point with coordinates X2, Y2. There, of course, exists a segment joining these two points with something that we call a midpoint. There is a midpoint on this segment we'll call M. It's halfway between the two endpoints of the segment, such that this length is equal to this length. So how do we find the x and y coordinates of that midpoint m? That's what we'll go over in today's Wrath of Math lesson. And I think you'll find that this is pretty straightforward. We'll begin by solving the problem in general, and then apply the midpoint formula that we discover to an example. On the xy plane, of course, every point has two components determining its location. Firstly, it has an x-coordinate. The x-coordinate of this first point, which we'll call p1, its x-coordinate is x1. We'll call the second point p2, and its x-coordinate is x2. We can also think of the x-coordinate as a horizontal position. So on the xy plane, every point has a horizontal position on the x-axis, and of course a vertical position on the y-axis. In order for the midpoint M to be halfway between the two points P1 and P2, it must be halfway between their horizontal positions and halfway between their vertical positions. In other words, the x-coordinate of the midpoint M must be halfway between x1 and x2, halfway between the x-coordinates of the points P1 and P2. So how do we find that x-coordinate? Well, the phrase halfway between might make you think of the word average. And indeed, to find the x-coordinate halfway between x1 and x2, we just have to take their average. To find the average of x1 and x2, we just have to add them up, so x1 plus x2, and then divide their sum by 2. And that is the average, or what's also sometimes called the mean, of those two numbers, those two x-coordinates. And so that's how we find the horizontal position of the midpoint. And we do the same thing for the vertical position, for the y-coordinate. The y-coordinate, or vertical position, of the point P1 is y1. The y-coordinate, or vertical position, of the point P2 is y2. And again, the midpoint of P1 and P2 should have a vertical position, or y-coordinate, that's halfway between y1 and y2. That should make sense that if the midpoint is halfway between the horizontal position of these two points and it's halfway between the vertical position of these two points, then it is the midpoint. It's halfway between those two points. And again, to find the y-coordinate that's halfway between y1 and y2, we do the same thing as we did before. We just take the average. So to find that y-coordinate, Add the y-coordinates of P1 and P2, that's y1 plus y2, and then divide by 2. And so the midpoint M has an x-coordinate that's equal to the average of the x-coordinates of the points P1 and P2, so that's x1 plus x2 divided by 2, and the midpoint has a y-coordinate that's equal to the average of the y-coordinates of P1 and P2. So that's y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So given two points, P1 and P2, with coordinates x1, y1, and x2, y2, these are the coordinates of the midpoint of those two points. The midpoint M of two points, P1 and P2, is halfway between the two points. And so it must be halfway between them horizontally and halfway between them vertically. So the coordinates of the midpoint are just the average of the x-coordinates and the average of the y-coordinates of those two points. And so since this is the midpoint of what we could call the segment P1, P2, it follows that the distance from P1 to M is equal to the distance from M to P2. So this segment here is congruent to this segment here. M is halfway between P1 and P2. Now, if all of the letters and subscripts is a bit much, let's go ahead and check out an example and use the formula that we just discovered. Here we've got a point with coordinates negative 2, 1, and a point with coordinates 4, 3. Now let's draw the segment that joins them. We, of course, want to find the coordinates of the midpoint, M. 
the point that is halfway between these two points. So we'll find the coordinates of this midpoint M and we'll put them in this ordered pair. Again, the horizontal position of the midpoint must be halfway between the horizontal positions of the two points. So to find the x-coordinate of the midpoint, we just take the average of the x-coordinates of the two points. That is, we take negative 2 plus 4 and then divide by 2, and the order of addition doesn't matter. So we could also write 4 plus negative 2 divided by 2. Either one works and will give us the same result. Negative 2 plus 4 is equal to 2, so this is equal to 2 over 2, which is equal to 1. So the x-coordinate of the midpoint is 1. To find the y-coordinate, we do the same thing. We take the average of the y-coordinates of these two points. So that's 1 plus 3 divided by 2. Again, the order of addition doesn't matter. We could have written 3 plus 1 instead. 3 plus 1 in the numerator is equal to 4, and then we're getting that divided by 2. 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2, and so the y-coordinate is 2. And it's as easy as that. 1, 2 are the x and y coordinates, respectively, of the midpoint M of these two points. Let's say we call these points P and Q this time. So to find the midpoint of two points P and Q, we just take the average of the x coordinates of P and Q and the average of the y coordinates of P and Q. Really pretty straightforward. Let's quickly run through one more example before we call it a day. Now we've got the points negative 3, negative 1, and 3, 2. Again, let's draw this segment connecting them. And we, of course, want to find the midpoint M. And again, we'll write the coordinates of the midpoint in this ordered pair. To find the x-coordinate, we just average the x-coordinates of our two points. So negative 3 plus 3 divided by 2. Negative 3 plus 3 is equal to 0. So this is equal to 0 divided by 2, which is equal to 0. So the x-coordinate of the midpoint is 0. To find the y-coordinate of the midpoint, we just average the y-coordinates of the two given points. So that's negative 1 plus 2 divided by 2. Negative 1 plus 2 is equal to positive 1, so this is equal to 1 half. So the y-coordinate of the midpoint is 1 half. And those are the coordinates of the midpoint of these two points. 0, 1 half. And we can see, of course, one of the weaknesses of drawing graphs here. Since the picture hasn't been carefully drawn to exactly represent the numbers, the midpoint doesn't look like it has an x-coordinate of 0, even though the math shows that it must. So this is just a rough sketch, but indeed, the midpoint of negative 3, negative 1, and 3, 2 is the point 0, 1 half. Now, here's a practice problem to try on your own. Try finding the midpoint of the points negative 1, 4, and 3, negative 2. Let me know what you get down in the comments, and I'll leave the solution in the description. And here is our midpoint formula, in case you forgot. I hope this video helped you understand how to find the midpoint of two points in the xy plane. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet.